Connor Stevens versus the better leaper, Ty Brewer. And Ty Brewer playing the five, or at least lots of four and some five tonight for ETSU. Wins the tap, the Buccaneers get possession first. VMI in that matchup zone. It's man-to-man -man on the ball, zone off the ball. ETSU can run man or zone sets, but they have to have movement. Stevens commits the foul as Jaden Seymour, who is getting a start tonight for ETSU, went up to try and slam one down, start this game in electric fashion for the Buccaneers. Seymour's third collegiate start for ETSU. He's joined by Jordan King, David Sloan, the aforementioned Ty Brewer, and Ladarius Brewer was our Tommy's Plumbing Impact player for ETSU. Seymour at the line to try and open the scoring. Can on the first free throw. He'll have a second. 13 of 19 from the free throw line entering tonight. Seven of seven versus Chattanooga. So hasn't been there consistently, the Wichita State transfer. Just a great cut, beautiful pocket pass. Seymour unable to connect through contact. Unable to connect from the free throw line as well. We remain tied at nothing. BMI's first offensive possession. Their starting lineup, Camden Kerfman, Jake Stevens, Tanner Mann, Sean Conway, and Trey Bonham, who's coming off his best half as a collegiate as a backdoor cut eventually gets to Conway. Ball's outside for Stevens now. From the 12 footer is good. And Jake Stevens opens the scoring. He's going to have a big height and muscle advantage down low tonight for BMI. Well, if you're ETSU, you can live with that. Stevens having to make a contested two. Good job defending the three. Run shooters off the line. The Bucks defended the back goal cut as well. Jordan King loves that mid-range jump shot. Can't connect on his first field goal attempt. And Bonham, 16 points in the second half against Furman on Saturday. All 16 he scored that day. Here's Conway on the right side. Can't give Kerfman an inch. Free throw line jump shot. Awkward looking. He thought he got fouled, took some contact, missed it badly. ETSU goes the other way. And that's how you have to defend Kerfman. They need to turn him into a driver. Stevens the rebound up a Ladarius Brewer miss. ETSU trailing 2 0, 90 seconds in. Mans has all kinds of room and nails the three. They'll shoot a lot of those tonight and make a lot of those most likely. They are top five in the country in both three-point attempts and three-point makes as a team. Well, that basket was made before the pass was even thrown. Way too easy. You have to get in his space and run Mans off the line, turn him into a driver as well. King. Drives. Finger roll is good. It's on the board. King, the transfer from Siena, drops in the deuce. Such good vision with the basketball. He's so good at seeing the floor, finding open real estate, and driving to it that way. Nobody picked him up, took it all the way to the rim, and finished. Stevens, the center, can take the three. Instead, will drive to get closer. Kicks it out. Kerfman from the logo. No, missed it wide left and only hit the glass. Ty Brewer on the bounce. Hands it off to David Sloan in transition. Sloan going to try to attack Bonham. Out to Jordan King, the sharpshooter. There it is. He kicks out the first five for the Buccaneers. We're tied at five. Three minutes in. Sloan set it up with the drive, draw, and dish. King knew what to do with it in the corner. If you're VMI, you VMI have to do a better job balancing the floor. Wall up, not let Sloan bounce to the paint. How in the world Camden Kerfman is ever that open is beyond me, but if you give him a foot, let alone 20 of them, that's likely the result. Well, that's the problem. VMI spreads you so well, you can't overhelp. They'll spread it and spot up with five shooters out there. Kerfman top five in the country individually in threes made and taken this year. Ladarius Brewer penetrates and finishes at the cup. Able to attack that matchup zone with dribble penetration. Back up for Mans isn't there. Kerfman rotates over to Conway. Having a nice season. Stevens between the circles. Gonna go after Jaden Seymour. Help came for a moment. ETSU gets back on their men. Bottom can't hit a three and swooping in for the rebound, Ladarius Brewer. Seymour pulls up top of the key, yes! Jaden Seymour, and hasn't been his shot this year, was two of 17 for three. Henry tonight, there's his third three in a Buccaneer uniform. Looks real comfortable trailing the break. Good job Sloan with the handoff. 
Kalamazoo with their first lead. Maybe a timeout next dead ball as Bottom will cross over. Gets inside, lost the ball. Ty Brewer, outlet to Jordan King. King hey. for Stevens, goes to the other side of the rim. Great hey. by hey. Jordan King. He's got seven early points. The Bucks are up four. Great job taking it right at the shot blocker, using his body to shield the defender. Nate Seymour knocked it away from Jake Stevens momentarily. You see the Princeton spread offense. Stevens the ideal pivot. Great passer, and he can knock down the three as well. He can't that time, and Ty Brewer clears the board. Sloan to King. Quick trigger. No. Conway with the rebound. A little fatigue out there on both sides. We're over a minute beyond the 16-minute media. That one rims out from Kerfman. Conway, second chance for VMI, and he's fouled. Got them off to a good start this year as well in their first two conference games against Wofford and Furman, a couple of traditional top four teams, at least recently in the Southern Conference. Sean Conway is at the line for the Key Dets, and hits the rim a couple of times, hits the backboard, and misses. And a promotion during the conference season here at Freedom Hall is that if an opponent misses both free throws in a pair, everybody in the building gets a free chicken sandwich. And it didn't take long. Conway, a 75% shooter. Wearing the sombrero. Ladarius Brewer, teardrop. Got it. Friendly roll for Ladarius Brewer. He's got four. And ETSU shooting 67% from the floor. They're on a 9-0 run. And that's what he does. He drives into space, elevates until he can look down on the goal and see clearly. He did just that. Jake Stevens. Kerfman lets it fly. Rebound, Mohab Yasser, who's making his first appearance tonight for ETSU, who's along with the other starting four, the starting five, I should say, as Ladarius Brewer from the left wing makes it a 12-0 run. ETSU firing on all cylinders. Great job by Brewer. Started on the defensive end, arriving on the catch with Kerfman, then knocking down the three over the taller, Jake Stevens. Kerfman to Stevens. Stevens drives in. Got two men in the air. Great move by Jake Stevens. He hadn't been heard from since the opening basket, but his second score ends the 12 0 run. Just a veteran move. He doesn't have a blow by you first step, but felt the defender on his hip. Showed a little leather. Used the head, neck, and shoulders to screen for himself. And a foul call down low. Trying to keep it on that end of the floor as Tanner Manns picks up his first foul. Jaden Seymour is going to check out for Bonnie Patterson. A couple of players unavailable tonight for ETSU. Cordell Charles and Isaac Farah, you won't see tonight, which means that Matt Nunez making his first collegiate reps for the Buccaneers. As there you run back three of the early points for ETSU. They're up seven. The Brewer's a streak shooter. He's seen one go down now. Rims that one off the front. Second chance for Mohab Yasser's no good. Bonnie Patterson can't make it on the third. And a fourth for ETSU. Also misses. Chance number five for the Buccaneers. Ladarius Brewer. No, wide left. How about chance number six? Ty Brewer is fouled. Oh, my goodness. The Buccaneers just would not give up on the possession. Just playing volleyball. Five white jerseys. Passing it back and forth off the backboard. One of the fallacies of the matchup zone defense. There are natural creases in there. Bucks find the gaps, extend the possession. Ty Brewer to the line for two. Brewer, the southeastern Louisiana transfer. 16 and 19 from the free throw line this year. It's high off the heel and misses. 80% of the season after missing that one, Ty Brewer. Jordan King out, David Sloan in. One other unavailable tonight for ETSU is Charlie Weber. Unfortunate for the young man. He was starting to play his best basketball, Bruce, but has now missed three straight games with an ankle injury. Went down during the shoot around at Stegman Coliseum prior to the Athens, prior to the Georgia game in Athens. Still unavailable for Desmond Oliver. This is a concerning early trend for ETSU. They missed their first four free throws. It's a couple of games removed from going five for 18 against Georgia, still somehow getting the victory. Conway, step back three. 
Rebound Ladarius Brewer. BMI pretty cold from outside early on. Two of eight from distance. Well, Patterson out there in space, forcing Conway to bounce. Hey, oh, oh. Hey. Another offensive rebound for Ty Brewer, but can't convert on the second chance opportunity. Trailer is Lewis Tang returning tonight. He draws a foul. Tang has not played in a few weeks, and Dan Earl, when talking to him, he was unsure if he was going to be able to go tonight, but returning to the lineup is Lewis Tang. Nice cut, trailing break. They don't give him that NBA continuation, so it'll be a baseline out of bounds. Kerfman, Stevens, Conway still out there along with Tang, and the inbounder is Honor Huff, a freshman that's leading BMI in bench minutes. And a five-second call. Freshman mistake from the young man. You have to have that count in your head. I've got a little lost looking for the cutters. Teammates didn't help him out a whole lot either. You have to come hard to the basketball there. Up with a size disadvantage as the trigger. But well, Brewer connects. Now Brewer's drawing Stevens to the perimeter, and he's made a couple from three-point range, setting him up for the blow-by, get into the lane and really create then. ETSU doubling up VMI. Brewer the first to double figures with 10. Camden Kerfman to answer. He does. That hand up, kind of token hand in the face. It wasn't close enough. Well, and Brewer went under it, too, on that DHO. You're going to have to go over the top with Kerfman. Too much space. That quick release. Jaden Seymour hits the deck after setting the screen. Ladarius Brewer, not this time. Jaden Seymour with the dunk. Jaden Seymour muscling up inside. We said that Jake Stevens would have that advantage in terms of girth and strength, but Seymour showing some of his own. Well, attacking the opposite side of the glass. Breaking that trend as out of the timeout, VMI has the ball. 11-11 to go. VMI shooting just 5 of 12 from the floor. That's not a bad number, but they're not keeping up with ETSU, who are up 15-7 to on the glass. Lots of second chances. Eight of those on the offensive glass, Mark. Rotates around the perimeter. Out to Tang from Huff. Two on the shot clock. I'm not sure Tang knows that, and he doesn't. Turnover number three on the key dash. Well, wasn't getting any help from the VMI bench either. No communication there. Tang dribbled out the shot clock. This is a spotty crowd inside Freedom Hall tonight. I'm not sure that there was too much noise if the bench would have been yelling out towards Lewis Tang. DJ Nussbaum is in for the first time. Five on the floor, it's Manns, Huff, Kerfman, Nussbaum, and Stevens for BMI. ETSU, Sloan, Yasser, Ladarius Brewer, Jaden Seymour, and Bonnie Patterson. Brewer attacks baseline, out to David Sloan, eyes a three. Rebound for Yasser, right over the top of Huff, and again a miss on a second chance from the Buccaneers, but again they get a third chance. And Bonnie Patterson commits a charge. Yet yeah, two more offensive rebounds. Has to be a concern for Dan Earl and his staff. ETSU just dominating the offensive glass. You see Tanner Mann's great job moving his feet and getting position. Yeah, good, easy call for the officials. It should be noted that BMI is fourth in the nation in defensive rebounds per game, but offensive rebounds, they tend to struggle on their end. This is rare, though, to see a team offensive rebounding so well against them, being fourth in the nation in defensive rebounds per game and 30th in the nation in overall rebounds per game. And Stevens misses a three. Sloan streaks back the other way. Yasser also misses a three as that one just skims off the rim into Stevens' hands. Well, you don't mind Yasser taking that shot. Probably prefer it to come later in the possession. Halfway down, Manns can't get it to drop. BMI is not shooting the ball as they're accustomed to. Bonnie Patterson, high off the rim. Touch last by ETSU, and with their nine-point lead, they'll head to the defensive end. Well, I, don't, I don't mind the last two shots. I don't like when they came into possession. It's after one shot. Again, what you can have against this matchup zone is the ball sticking. You have to have movement either player and or ball movement. Hoff on the blow by. Lays one in from the left side with the right hand, and the lead's down to seven. A nice finish, got the head and shoulders around. Huff, big basket to break a dry spell. 
Mans right in front of Mohab Yasser off the David Sloan miss. And now for the Buccaneers, they're just one of their last seven field goals have missed their last five. A little bit of a drought. And again, three quick shots each of the last three possessions. Tanner Mans finger rolls it in. Beautiful to split the help. Stepped right through two defenders. Yeah, and where is the help side? How does man straight line drive from 17 feet away? Have to have some weak side coming over from that. I know you don't want to leave shooters, but you can't let man's go all the way to the goal. Yes, sir. Left corner, it's Ladarius Brewer. Offensive rebound for Seymour Stevens had the block at the summit, but I think the foul may come before that. Indeed, it's Tanner Manns on the reach in before the block up top. And for Manns, that's his second joining Ty Brewer for ETSU with two. Well, and Ladarius Brewer, he has Nussbaum out there isolated in space. Like to see him show a little leather. Bounce down the baseline. No way Nussbaum guards him in space. Manns is going to take a seat here momentarily. Sean Conway will check in for him. Jordan King awaiting entry to the ball game as well. And there's the first free throw make for either side today. The team were combined 0 for 6, but Jaden Seymour gets point number six of his night. And again, the byproduct of another offensive rebound. ETSU controlling the boards on both ends. Seymour such a good rebounder in space. Now 11 offensive rebounds, but those are just the third and fourth second chance points for ETSU. You'd like that ratio to be more one to one. Stevens fires. Hit every part of the rim, and now an offensive rebound for Nussbaum. And that's where VMI is so dangerous. Good job matching up with, Nuss with uh, Kerfman. Short memory from Jake Stevens. Rips the cords from outside. VMI is not a team that's going to beat you with stick backs, but what they'll do, they'll tap it back to shooters who are relocating during the scramble. Good job, ETSU, matching up with Kerfman, but Stevens got it the second time around. Bonnie Patterson. Wow, what a difficult finish. Oh. Went to his favorite left hand as he was falling to the floor. ETSU just continues to attack the heart of the matchup zone defense, bouncing to the logo at will. Stevens tried the wraparound pass, but David Sloan read it. Matt Nunez, we foreshadowed his entry. He's waiting at the scorer's table to make his collegiate debut. First, though, Jordan King missed the fall away. And the rebound for Kerfman. It's a lot of length to shoot over. Good job, Stevens, defending in space. Conway in rhythm, misses short, but it's batted out by Jake Stevens. Kerfman way outside, rims around and out, and Jordan King on the rebound. Bucks dodged a bullet, there's that tap back. Kerfman couldn't knock down an open one. King misses the three. ETSU now four of 14 from outside, just like BMI. For the up and down style of game this is, a lot of shots just aren't dropping for both sides. And Jake Steve, Newport News, Virginia, prior to his stop there, earning a first team All-State award at Walsingham High School in Williamsburg, Virginia. And it didn't take BMI long to cut further into this lead. Camden Kerfman off the inbound, gets it down to four. Set play out of the timeout, have to like it. Steven, such a good passer, tremendous vision, has the timing with Kerfman on the back door. But Darius Brewer is on the mark again. And he's got 13, his third three. The Buccaneers earlier today extended their three-point streak to 1,075 consecutive games, fifth longest streak in the country. Shooter has it going, now it's time to make the defense pay. Steven steps around Sloan for the layup. That's a mismatch against the young Nunez, Nunez in space. Came out just a little too high. Have to get down in a guarding position. Stevens blew right by him. Good close out by Kerfman. Made sure King didn't have an open three. Nussbaum does the same. Bounce pass into traffic, stolen by Stevens. Something that VMI doesn't do often. Dan Earl pointed out that they just don't take the ball away enough from opponents. As high off the heel with a three is Conway. Four of 15 now from deep, the key dance. It's a tough matchup for Nunez. Comes into his first college action and guarding arguably the hottest player in the Southern Conference right now, reigning player of the week and month. 
Ladarius Brewer is in the zone. His fourth three, he's got half of ETSU's 32 points. And the Bucs are up eight. Get whatever he wants, whenever he wants. Had his string of six straight games and double figures snapped against Chattanooga. Tying a season low with two points, but you had a feeling that he was gonna come right back, a resilient scorer. Another miss from the Kedats and the Buccaneers. Ladarius again, this time too strong. But a rebound for Vonnie Patterson. Recurring theme. This has to be demoralizing for VMI. Now 12 offensive rebounds allowed. Patterson's corner three short. This time they are able to take the ball away from the Buccaneers as Conway has the board. Patterson with a clean look off a nice hammer pass from L.A. Brewer. Can't get it to go down. Stevens too big. Kerfman way downtown. This is short. And now multiple chances for the Kedats. Honorhoff uh, zigged, did Nussbaum on the pass, zagged, and a turnover on the Kedats. Another missed opportunity. Second chance opportunity. And you see the tap back. Camden Kerfman in rhythm. Just can't get it to go down. Your VMI just getting hammered on the on your defensive end, ETSU second, third chance opportunities. You have to feel pretty good at this point that you're only down eight on the road. Uncharacteristic shooting night for them so far. 38% from three as a team coming into this evening. 22% right now. They'll take 35 threes a game on average. So a lot of their offense is from out there. And one for Ladarius Brewer. Trey Bonham got in the air. Brewer with the smaller Bonham on him had no problem forcing that one through contact. And that's how Brewer put you in conflict. He's made those three-pointers, so Bonham has to come out. Brewer able to get the head and shoulders around in space and the nice finish off the banking board over the smaller Bonham. Boy, this is shaping up like it could be a career day for Ladarius Brewer. He nestles it into the nylon on a free throw. He's got 19 in just 16 minutes into this game. Well, that spells trouble for VMI. Nobody on their roster that can match up with him if he's making jump shots. Huff stepped into one, but that one missed as well. David Sloan racing the other way, finishes at the rim. Hanging in midair, David Sloan with the acrobatics. Long misses lead to long rebounds. Sloan catches in stride. VMI, if you're going to shoot it long, you have to balance the floor. Bottom whips it cross court. Off the floater, friendly shooting roll. It was a 13 point lead until that make. Bonnie Patterson on the skip pass, nails a three. Bucks have seven of them now. And don't forget, last year in this building, the Bucks set their program record against VMI with 16 threes. They're well on their way to, to get there again tonight. Frantic action. Bucks push the pace off the make. You got to feel like VMI favors this style of game, but the Bucks are outplaying them at their own game right now as David Sloan misses that one. But a game high 14 point lead for the Bucks right now. Conway has just been way off target the entire day. Scoreless and now 0 of 5 from the floor. And VMI getting what they want. Conway with a clean look in transition. As a defender, you're accustomed to bouncing the floor, running back to the paint. Against VMI, you have to run to the line and find shooters. He has just one of their last eight from the floor. Will be the one to break them out of the slump. Honor still hasn't scored. Conway hasn't scored. Stevens throws it into the left corner. Honor Huff. Oh, uncontested rebound, and there's some second chance points for Sean Conway. He's off the side. No one around the ball for ETSU after the mess. Well, Brewer came over to double team. Nobody rotated down. You have to help the helper. Somebody has to drop down and pick up LA's man. Nobody did. Conway, the beneficiary. Still waiting on the last media timeout here in the first half, under two minutes to go. Darius Brewer, a flamethrower of a right hand, has the ball in his hands. And then there's Jordan King. 8-3 for the Buccaneers. King into double figures with 10. And that's a tough shot anyhow. It's especially tough if you're two and a half minutes beyond the media timeout, but King able to get the lower body in it. Steal for the Buccaneers who are up 15 and looking to extend. Sloan, 15-footer, yes. And it is an onslaught from the ETSU offense who have 45 first half points.
And that's a charge. Five for ETSU to try and close out his first half strong. David Sloan, Jordan King, Jaden Seymour, Mohab Yasser, and Bonnie Patterson, both Odarius and Ty Brewer on the bench. Sloan misses at the rim, but he will go to the free throw line as Brennan Watkins, very number one in making his first appearance today, picks up his first foul. And a veteran move by Sloan. Sees the freshman Watkins out there, a little stutter step, gets him leaning, goes to the offhand. Uses Watkins' momentum against him. He'll go to the line for two. Now if he, if he makes a second one, does ETSU throw a little pressure up? Makes the first. Strong shooter in every aspect, David Sloan. His first attempts in his last five games, 21 of 25 from the line on the season, 84%. I think Desmond Oliver might want to push the envelope a little bit defensively. Don't know that he has the depth, especially with Ty Brewer on the bench with two personal fouls. The lead now 19, as big as it's been. And VMI desperately needs some momentum going to halftime. Watkins going to inbound with Huff, Kerfman, Stevens, and Conway. And ETSU in their 1-2-2. Two, two. They'll drop back man-to-man. -man. VMI opportunity to go quick. Maybe try to get a two for one at the end of the period. That's what Stevens wants. And with the baby hook, he's got another two. First to double figures for VMI. I like the traditional jump stop, not going off one feet, stopping and gathering himself. It worked out well. VMI gets the two for one, should they set it? Wanted points quick. Kerfman could convert on the long range effort, and the shot clock is off. You know, we went more than two and a half minutes beyond the four minute media timeout. VMI expended a lot of energy on the defensive end, and it's showing. King doubled, he'll go baseline. Pass it out to David Sloan. 35 footer, no. The rebound for Kerfman, along with Andre Huff, the point guard. Jake Stevens, Tanner Manns, and Sean Conway. DSU defending with Ladarius Brewer, Jaden Seymour, Jordan King, Ty Brewer, and David Sloan. One key we talked about pregame, didn't mention the stat at halftime, but points off turnovers. ETSU plus 38 in their wins here in Johnson City, minus 19 in their one loss. They're plus 12 so far today. Have four seven turnovers, 12 points off. Have only given the ball away twice. No points off for VMI. Jake Stevens has some points. Connects from long range. He's got 14. A good start. Stevens showing a little life. Senior from Bunker Hill, West Virginia. To breathe a little energy into his teammates. Crossover from Sloan. Low pass, it's scooped up by Jordan King. Back to Sloan, who looks spry. Buries it from deep, he's got nine. Well, and that's the veteran knowing that Conway cannot stay with him in terms of lateral movement. Sloan crosses him over into open space. Huff, that one halfway down and popped out. That kind of night for the key dads. Darius Brewer, high for the rebound. Jaden Seymour missed an uncontested layup right at the rim. The one you can't give up if you're VMI, and one you have to finish if you're Jaden Seymour. Eight turnover on a bad pass from Honor Huff. Buccaneers, another takeaway. They've converted all day long on these, and a foul on the floor as Jaden Seymour passed it off to Ty Brewer. Whistled as Conway. For Conway, that's his first. Two fouls for Tanner Manns. No one else with two for BMI for ETSU. Only four fouls all day. Two of those on Ty Brewer. Yeah, Brewer picked them up early. Never, unable to get into the flow of the game. ETSU, another valuable big in the lineup. They went small most of the first period. Sloan attacks the fadeaway. Wow. David Sloan showing all the tricks. He's into double figures. Just taking over. Backs the smaller Huff down. In the corner, it's Conway, been cold. That one rolls off the rim. 
Ball on the floor for Jordan King. And it will still show up on the stat sheet, but it's L.A. Brewer denying Kerfman on the perimeter and then staying with him throughout the backdoor cut. Sloan wants to ISO. Has to pick up his dribble. Darius Brewer steps through. And Stevens pins that one against the glass and has it with two hands. But that's okay. Not a bad possession. Put VMI in a stance and made them guard 20 plus seconds. Camden Kerfman, that won't help. But Conway in the corner has the rebound and tosses it to Manns. And again, a good job recovering the shooters during the scramble. Kerfman buries it. With one exception, and VMI finds it. He's been left alone a couple of times. Those wide open shots have gone down, but outside of those, just a couple of other connections for Camden Kerfman. Now has 11. He and Stevens, 25 of the 36 points for the key dance, not getting the help from Bonham, from Conway. Sloan runs to an open part of the court. Can't knock it down. Stevens the rebound. Huff streaks into the open floor and a block on Jordan King, and Huff will go to the free throw line to try and add to his four points. Just the third and fourth free throws of the day coming for BMI. It's just a little slow in transition, and Huff with the aggressive take. King just a split second late getting there. Critical juncture for both teams. This could go either way right now. BMI either makes a run or ETSU pulls away. BMI can make up a large deficit in a hurry with those shooters. Huff still perfect at the line this year. Has not missed. Now 13 of 13. Should be noted, he started this second half instead of Trey Bonham, but Bonham does check in to join Huff, Manns, Stevens, and Kerfman. Now 14 for 14, Andre Huff, and the lead is 14 for ETSU, who have the ball back. And BMI with a little one-two-two of their own. They'll drop back into that matchup. Matchup zone. As you mentioned, just something to try to maybe spark the energy, right, Bruce? Yeah, anything to bring a little life to your team, a little energy, a little different look. Motion offense out top. Needs to the ball being in Mohab Yasser's hands. And he hits. A three for Mohab Yasser, his first points of the day. You talk about tough to guard if that's going down. Ty Brewer doesn't like that call as he bodied up Jake Stevens 20 feet from the basket for Brewer. That's his third. Yasser is not a particularly good three-point shooter, or has not shown that at least so far this year. Just 25% in his opening season in the States, originally from Egypt. Stevens wants another and has it. Softly nestles through. Yeah, and that's just a player making a play right there. Ty Brewer out there with an extended arm, doesn't want to pick up his fourth personal. Might want to get there a little bit sooner. Double-double for Stevens, 17 and 10. Fifth double-double in his last six games. Is there anybody in this league playing as well as consistently and doing as much for his team as Stevens is right now? Darius Brewer from outside misses. Quez Glover, I think, maybe has a stake to that claim for Sanford, but he missed the last game for the Bulldogs. Stevens has just progressed so consistently over his, since that's happened. And down 14 right now, they need a big comeback in order to break that streak. A miss from David Sloan out of the timeout and a strong rebound from Tanner Mann will help that cause. And that's a good start. Mans. Bonham against the much larger Ty Brewer. Took him to the rim, but missed with the offhand. Well, like what Bonham did with the ISO on Brewer with the three personal fouls. Good job, Brewer, pushing back and not fouling. That's probably an over and back. It went out of bounds. Would have been an over and back if Ladarius Brewer threw it out of bounds. There's one streak we haven't mentioned tonight. ETSU has won their last seven Southern Conference openers, every one since rejoining the SOCON. So many streaks to talk about tonight. 
and BMI on the wrong end of a lot of them, and another ominous one for the Kedats that is maybe manifesting itself tonight. Well, this is a true role reversal. BMI, unaccustomed to playing in the role of contender. Jake Stevens doing his best to keep his ball club in there on the road. He can really get anything he wants, it seems like, tonight against a much smaller ETSU lineup that lacks interior depth. Add to the fact Ty Brewer playing with three personal fouls. Jordan King, is that one short. Stevens taps it to himself, rebound number 11. And now just minus four on the glass, our VMI, after being down as many as eight in half number one. But each of Brewer's, or excuse me, each of Stevens' straight line drives are to his right. You want to get on that right shoulder and make him go down the left lane line. That's just too easy, too comfortable. Just overplay him, shave him a half step the other way. Take that away, Ty. Don't, don't go for that fake. Don't bite for that fake on his weak side. Call Darius Brewer for leaning that arm right over Stevens' attempt. And he'll go to the free throw line for the first time today. First foul on Ladarius Brewer, who had 19 first half points. Six minutes and eight seconds into the second half, scoreless in half two. Matt Nunez making his second appearance in his collegiate career. First one came earlier tonight. With Dan Earl, some halftime adjustments. There was just no matchup for Ladarius Brewer in the first half. And that zone shading more toward him in the second half. What a nice touch for the big guy. Two for two for Stevens, who's got 21 and just slowly chipping away at this lead. VMI, it's down to 10. Ty Brewer, nice touch. Shooting it so well from the mid range, over 55%. Last five or six games, so good when he plays straight up. Tanner Mann, right in the face of Ty Brewer. And a lead down to single digits for the first time since midway through the first half. King hounded by a pair of guards, Bonham and Huff. Ladarius Brewer looked for his first points of the half. Tries to maneuver around Stevens. Nunez had a tap attempt, and the rebound is into the hands of man. I like to see Nunez bring that down and go back up strong. Big task for him here against Stevens, and Nunez picks up the foul for ETSU. That's their fourth of the half. Still plenty to give for Nunez, his first in his seven minutes of play. This is a valuable experience for him, Jake Stevens. Get a bit of an education, but Nunez holding his own, the big guy out of Virginia. Mans lays it up. He's got 10. Third to double figures for VMI. The lead is seven. One of the few times Ty Brewer gets broken down in the open floor. Went out there straight up. Get down in a good guarding position with the buttocks lower and the feet ready to move. High arcing jumper from Ty Brewer. Ball is loose and it's into the hands of Trey Bonham. A little quick on the trigger for the Bucks. VMI getting some stops. In the corner, Manns can't hit that one. And Ty Brewer in front of his teammate Nunez claims it. Big miss, that would have brought it down to four. The pressure would have really gotten real on ETSU. Nunez, first collegiate point. <laughs> Head coach, all 12 matchups that the Bucks and Kedats have had with Earl at the helm have been in favor of ETSU. Nine by double figures. Bruce, is there any truth to the mental block that some teams may have with others? Well, possibly so. I played on an Ole Miss team that hadn't won at Rupp Arena in Lexington for 60 years. But part of that was the fact Wildcats just had a lot better talent. I think the Kedats just caught the Bucks at a bad time tonight, but VMI hanging in there, just a three possession game right now. So Should be circled noted. the wagons at the half. Should be noted, ETSU has been very strong in these last six plus seasons. Down as many as 19 VMI, they're within nine. Oh, the Nola pass, brother to brother. The Brewers connect with a slam from top. I don't think Ladarius knew where he was going with the ball when he jumped, but he just hung in the air until somebody got open. It happened to be bigger brother Ty. Kerfman with the response. The Brewers out there with a the hand up, but you have to get in his real estate. 
scoring kind of picking up pace here, Bruce. You can feel the energy on both sides now. What you said maybe lack from BMI in those first 20 minutes. Ladarius Brewer, not this time. Jaden Seymour with the putback. Such a high Seymour. basketball IQ for the freshman transfer. Knows exactly to attack the opposite side of that banking board. And it comes off right there. Bottom beautiful up fake. Struggled just 8 of 36 from the floor. 11 points in the opener, 28 since the transfer from Johnny Logan College, fifth year of collegiate ball. His role seems to have shifted this year and just hasn't really gelled, but hitting the conference season would be a perfect time for him to find himself again. He's been banged up a little bit too, so playing himself back into shape. Had some pretty big numbers early, known as a defensive stopper. Then he got shelved with the injury, but coming back around, great leader. Willed his club to victory. That nice win at Athens. Bonham forces a turnover, and that is just the third all night on ETSU. He gets with a chance to cut it to five or four, which would be as low as it's been since midway through the first half. Honor off to the rack. Big block by Jaden Seymour. Great timing, second off the floor. Jordan King can't cash it on the other end, but a foul will keep the ball on this end with the box. Bucks just continuing to pound the offensive glass. BMI with no answer out of that matchup zone. Oh, what a block by Seymour. Way up there, and it appeared clear on the replay that he got it on the way up. Good no call on a goaltend by Shane Staggs, Billy Dunlap, and Sidney Cohen. Gave a little more space. Gave up the and one on earlier penetration. This time utilized his size. Quick off the floor. Brewer, that unguardable jump shot, high release, but couldn't get it to go. Here's Huff. Wants to slow down this half. 47 points in the first half, but halfway through half two to 16. Man's thought about it. Off the hesitation. Seven on the shot clock. Stevens isolating against Brewer and goes right over him. Stevens has 23 on 9 of 15 from the floor. The Seymour came over with the double team, and Stevens just pivoted and went the other direction to essentially neutralize it softly off the banking board. Don't look now. Partner VMI down five. Nasty crossover by Sloan. Got him inside, but too strong on the touch, and the ball does deflect off of VMI last. DTSU will keep it. What have you seen that the Keydets have done so well in the second half defensively, Bruce, versus the first half? Well, one, been a lot more cognizant of L.A. Brewer and gotten out there, but most of all, their closing possessions. Better job rebounding defensively. Bad pass by David Sloan, steal by Bonham, and one! Bonham versus Sloan, and Bonham stands over him with the flex. Only three turnovers prior to this possession, but Bonham with the run through, double jeopardy, live ball turnover, the hoop and the harm off the banking board. Bonham has been strong in second halves, as we mentioned before last break. 16 second half points against Furman. Scoreless the first half of that game, scoreless the first half of this game, but this is his second and one in the last few minutes. Also three rebounds, four assists. Chance to cut the lead to two. But he can't. Ty Brewer with the rebound. He's got 11 now. Athletic sophomore out of UMS right down on the Gulf Coast. Sloan. Darius Brewer sitting right now. Still scoreless in the second half with Darius Brewer after 19 first half points. Ohab Yasser drives, challenges Stevens, and Steves and Stevens packs the shot. Mans to tie. Yes! VMI has come all the way back after being down 19, a resilient VMI team on the road. It's not enough to retreat to the paint. You have to run to the line. VMI finds Tanner Mans in transition. We have a tie ball game 12 minutes into the second period. 13-2 run for VMI. Yasser ends it. <laughs> His second three. Watch back in front. Huge basket. Both teams back and forth. Pass caroms off of Ty Brewer and 
out of bounds. 14 season, and they've still got seven true road games in conference play left. As you saw that Jake Stevens block. Stevens out of the timeout feeds Kerfman on the right side. EMI can tie with a three. Six of 10 from outside in this half, shooting a blistering 61% from the floor overall. That number will drop though as Manns misses. Deflected off the head of Stevens, and now a foul is gonna be whistled on Manns. He dove at the knees of King. You wonder how long BMI can maintain this high energy level in the second half. Spent so much of this game playing from behind long stretches as you see the rebound in space. Guards rebounding down for ETSU. Not only playing from behind for long stretches, Mike, but much of that on the defensive end in a stance, and that really takes it out of you. So how much will be left in the lower body down the stretch for the key dance playing on the road? So now 58% the second half from the floor for VMI, 38% in half one, 45% of the game. ETSU pretty consistent, been right around 37% all night. Here's Ladarius Brewer, can they get him going again? 19 first half points, ball stripped on the way up by Bonham. Another steal, all of a sudden lots of takeaways mounting here for the key as Bonham gets around Brewer and lays it in. Attacked one Brewer, then finished over the other. And Bonham, his second steal and finish on the other end. Just left Ladarius Brewer standing in the nice finish off the banking board with the offhand. General told me yesterday when we talked that there's a major point of emphasis on being better on the road. He knows the numbers. He knows he hasn't beaten ETSU. As King gets down low, slow jab steps, goes inside, and wildly flings one up, but was fouled. Trey Bonham picking up his second. Tanner Mans has three. No one else with that many or more for BMI. Ty Brewer with three on ETSU's side, and similarly, no one else with that many. And to the line, one of the best free throw shooters for the box, David Sloan. It still has to be a little doubt creeping in for, for VMI. A nice win at Wofford, but they played a Terrier team without Klesmet, the leading scorer. Sloan stays perfect at the line tonight. Three of three, the Bucks six of 10, VMI five of eight. Pretty much a wash at the free throw line so far. Sloan adds to ETSU's lead, it's back to a full possession. Press on from the box. Bonham trapped. Worked it through somehow on the baseline with no space to Stevens. Mans, he's been hot. Sloan challenging Stevens for the board and Sloan with the block from behind. Boy, if you had one thing to bet on this game. I'm guessing that would be pretty far down in the list, Bruce. If you're Stevens, you have to finish that. You have to take that back up strong. I mean, you're going, you're going one hand in the lane in conference play. You have to take that back up to the rim strong. Expect and embrace contact. You have to finish that one on the road, big guy. You're having a great season, but that's one you'd like to have back. Double on Stevens now. And he throws it away to Mohab Yasser. Two on two, Yasser, Euro step in the finish! Headed to the line, Mohab Yasser, and he's fired up. Talk about bringing your team energy off the bench. Veteran play by the freshman. Well, right to him. Stevens, not a good read. Just felt man's leaning one way. Split the defense. Took it to and through the contact, and Yasser to the line. Look for a little pressure after this, too. VMI caught a break last time against this press. Able to get it through two traps on the sideline. Stevens running the floor. Beautiful fake and an easy lay. That's the way you finish that on the break. Good job of finding the big in transition as well. Reward your 6'11 pivot for running the floor. Also on second team last season, Jake Stevens has 25 tonight. David Sloan, knocked down. Second for Sloan. Sloan 12 for ETSU. Well, you see the attention LA Brewer gets. The trap in the corner, somebody's open. Great job of ball reversals. The Bucks find the open man. Conway, extra pass. Stevens. Conway has the rebound. Bonham with an open look. Stevens taps it out again, but this time King in the way. Big possession here for ETSU to try and extend. 
Good job, King, rebounding down, but not too far, knowing that those bigs are going to tap it back out, and they tap it right to Jordan King. Five minutes remaining. Big first half for the Bucs, big second half here for VMI. ETSU has stabilized since the under-8 timeout. Sloan up fakes, tried to draw contact. I think a good no call, and leaving that one short was Sloan, a loose ball with Conway. On the screen of Stevens, bottom. Tied it, Bucks with a two possession lead. Can they get that leadership and hang on? Bottom. Kerfman way outside, ill-advised shot, and Conway has a deflected rebound. I'm not sure there is an ill-advised three from Cannon Kerfman. If there is one available, then that would be the one that you'd have to say was, and a foul off the ball on David Sloan for ETSU. That's the Bucks' seventh, so this will be a one and one. Jake Stevens will be at the line. Now, Kerfman's 30 feet out, but that's well within his range. But again, he's played a lot of hard minutes. You see that shot come up a little bit short. That's what happens when the lower body starts to go. Stevens can't earn the second, and that's big. 25 points and 13 rebounds. Monstrous double-double tonight for Stevens, but that was an important occasion that he couldn't cash in on. Came in at 86% from the line. That's tremendous for a guard, much less a guy almost seven foot. That's not Bonnie Patterson shot. Corner three, air balls. Bottom goes down low. Able to get a pass off to Honor Huff. Extra pass, Stevens. Oh, how did it roll in? The English on it by Stevens. I'm not even sure that that was a real shot attempt from him. Got knocked out of his hands and spun up on the rim. Well, what you have to like, too, is the big guy going down to get a bounce pass and then getting it back up off the banking board through traffic. That's an athletic play. You have to be. You have to use finesse and strength to get that one. Again, back to the prior possession. Bonnie Patterson, an air ball from the corner. Plus, it came early in the possession. The ball stuck on the right side of the floor. Won't try again. Four on the shot clock. King's a better shooter. And there you see it. Third three for Jordan King. The Bucks 13. Lead back up to seven. Great decision by Bonnie Patterson. Unselfish with the extra pass. Bonham answers right back. This is not going to be easy for either side. Bonham just willing his team in the second half. Big guy Jake Stevens, I'm going to give you some help. 26 points the last two second halves after two scoreless first halves for Bonham. King in the lane. Stevens knocks it over to Brewer, then Conway, and then King. Shot clock reset to 20. Don't discount the fact BMI has been in a guarding stance on the defensive end about a minute now. Six on the shot clock, slowing the pull up. Ugly miss, but Ty Brewer, and this has been a big story. Offensive rebounds the whole night. The Bucks draining the clock down with a four-point lead. And if you're VMI, you get to get back in the stance and do it again for 20 more seconds. King over Stevens. Oh, Patterson cuffs the rebound. Chance number four, this possession. Brewer stuffed by Conway. And then a back to a one possession game. He's got 28 points along with 14 rebounds. One of his best days as a collegiate. And now it's a two point game as he adds to his total. And VMI has a foul to give here. They can, they're gonna have to play aggressive anyhow. They can afford to uh, maybe try to shake one loose right here. King. With Arius Brewer, hasn't scored all half long. Baseline cut by Vonnie Patterson, who turns it over. A blind pass that Trey Bottom stepped in the middle of. Well, Patterson's kind of in jeopardy when he caught that. For the lead. Too strong from Bottom, who tried to chase it down, and Vonnie Patterson is fouled by Bottom. It's just number six on VMI, so they had one to give. And ETSU will get it in the backcourt. 124 to go with a two-point lead in the ball. Five in the floor for the box. Vonnie Patterson, David Sloan, Ladarius Brewer, Jordan King, and Ty Brewer. And 
Conley starter not in for the Bucs is Jaden Seymour. Sloan is going to get a pick from Ty Brewer. And another turnover. ETSU had just two in the first half. Only five this half, but many of them have led to points off turnovers for VMI. ETSU is up 12-0 in that category. Half one, it's even 4-4 four four in half two. The ball screen and roll. Sloan led tie. In half, ETSU just 33%. Huff with Stevens, Bonham, Manns, and Kerfman. Kerfman for three, no. And David Sloan's way up there to grab it. Kerfman got what he wanted, curling off that off ball screen, turning to his left shoulder. If you're VMI, do you play this out or do you foul? 18. Bonnie Patterson, a 60% free throw shooter. He did select to play it out. 18 second difference between shot and game clock. Sloan is in the post. Forces one up and in. Two possession lead for ETSU, and now VMI have their backs against the wall. Plenty of time. You don't have to have a three, but you need something quick and at the rim. VMI wants a three. Everybody's out. Sir. Stevens gets the inbound. Hand off to Kerfman. Going to try to beat Ty Brewer to the rim. Misses the layup, and Brewer has the rebound. Now they have to foul, and Honor Huff does. David Sloan. BMI certainly got what they what they wanted. Camden Kerfman off the DHO got downhill, but nice help side. That switch with Ty Brewer picking up Kerfman. Brewer switch. The Brewer. L.A. Brewer comes over to help. Sloan can't totally ice it here, but two makes will go a long way, and there's the first. The Bucks hold on. It'll be their eighth consecutive win in Southern Conference home openers. Every opener since they've rejoined the Southern Conference, their 13th consecutive win against VMI, and their 23rd in their last 24 against the Kidets overall. That man, Desmond Oliver, looking for his first victory over tonight's visitors. Two of two, Sloan. Here comes Huff. He's going to get to the rim, and Sloan catches it in the backcourt. And with six seconds left, he's fouled by Camden Kerfin. Do you think this is what Desmond Oliver envisioned when he took over this program and talked about wanting to get up a lot of shots, play fast? And even though they're shooting 38% from the floor, they've gotten up 77 shots, 38 from deep, hit 13 of those. It seems like what we've seen unfold today is his vision at its best. Mike, to prove your point, I think sometimes ETSU's best offense was the missed shot. By attacking the offensive glass, they retained possession and took a lot of energy out of VMI, forcing the key dads to play long stretches in a stance on the defensive end. A miss from David Sloan, but time's running out. In the corner, Camden Kerfman is going to make